So really what we're gonna do is just bust off into here, take a look at some new baits, some new products. We're gonna play tackle box and maybe get a little sneak peek at some heat that's coming soon. Now when it comes to what's in this box right here, I don't even know if I'm supposed to show you, but I'm gonna show you anyway. This is, this is awesome. You guys help make this happen. So what I'm going to do is every hat that I sell this month, the month of August, 2022, I'm gonna donate uh, the profits from that to uh, Parkinson's research. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I hope you're all doing well out there. First off, really quickly, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who reached out and sent their condolences on the passing of my Aunt Vicky. I sincerely appreciate everyone who reached out and uh, yeah, that meant a lot to me, so thank you guys. Um, that sort of give you some insight as to why it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a video. I appreciate you guys staying patient with me. My Aunt Vicky, uh, unfortunately, she had a long battle with Parkinson's disease and um, took a little turn for the worse there recently and uh, ended up passing away. So I've been celebrating her life and memory with my family back home, but I'm back here at the house now and I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. Thank you guys once again for being patient and I sincerely appreciate all of uh, the condolences that were sent my way. So something I thought about that I wanted to do for my Aunt Vicky and for anyone uh, who may be suffering uh, from Parkinson's. As you guys know, we have hats for sale on the heaterzone.com. It's like my most popular item. We sell a lot of hats on the heater zone. I actually just finished shipping out some hats right now. The mailman just scooted on by and picked some more shipments up. Thank you if you're one of those people that ordered a hat. But what I'm going to do is every hat that I sell this month, the month of August 2022, I'm going to donate uh, the profits from that to uh, Parkinson's research. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you want to help. Uh, you know, support Parkinson's research and, you know, do a little something uh, in honor of the memory of my Aunt Vicky. You can check out the top link down below in the video description, pick up a hat, and I will donate all of the proceeds from hat sales in the month of August to Parkinson's research. And I will, I will uh, let you guys know what charity that ends up being at the end of the month when we finally make that donation. But moving on, I don't want to stick around on a, a somber note for too long. We're back, we're here, and I've got another unboxing video for you guys. I'm gonna try to move through this quickly. I got a couple packages over here from the six, and as you can see, I have a bunch of boxes down here beside me on the ground. While I was fishing with Brett, my last actual fishing video from out there on the water, we noticed some things about June bugs, some things that could be working better, things that weren't running to their full potential down here in these boxes. We have uh, everything that is gonna help us correct those issues. I'm not gonna give away too much, but you guys can kind of tell from uh, these images here that I'm showing you what's about to be going down. So if you're interested in seeing me open up all this stuff and do some upgrades to old JB out there, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stick around, that video is coming really soon. And that's one of the reasons why we're here doing another unboxing video and not out there on the lake fishing. In addition to all that, the lake is extremely low right now. The boat ramps are closing like by the day. We're losing boat ramp after boat ramp. Lake's dropping fast and the fishing is honestly, it's just really tough out here right now. So we're hanging out again in the garage. I know a lot of you guys love the unboxing videos, but for those of you who are here for strictly fishing content, I promise you that is coming very soon. I'm gonna get all this stuff put on Junebug. I got some people coming to help me this weekend, and uh, it's gonna be one of the biggest, baddest upgrades that we've ever done to the boat. It's by far some of the most money that I've ever spent on uh, upgrading materials for the boat, and it's gonna help us be more successful out there on the water. More on that later, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see what's in all those boxes and you wanna see me do some major upgrades to Junebug, my ZX250 Skeeter Bass Boat. But today, we got some boxes, and we're gonna go ahead and crack off into here. I got some new baits from Sixth Sense. I got some exciting stuff in this, in this box right here that I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you, but I'm gonna ask for forgiveness and not permission, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this on camera and show you guys what's in here. I'm extremely excited about it. It's something that a lot of you guys have asked me about in the past, and it, I bet it's not what you think it is. In here, we got some of the new heat. Some of you probably have seen some of it. So really what we're gonna do is just bust off into here, take a look at some new baits, some new products. We're gonna play tackle box and maybe get a little sneak peek at some heat that's coming soon. In addition to that, you guys may have saw where I did the little bait chamber video. 
and I upgraded uh, the storage for a lot of my hard baits. Well, I actually just got in the jig box. So we're gonna load this bad boy up and take a look at some of the advantages in something like this, as opposed to something like this, how I'm storing my jigs now. So that's what's coming your way. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep it moving, rocking and rolling, and not take up too much of you guys' time. Thank you so much for sticking with me and for tuning in to another unboxing video. Trust me, I cannot wait to be back out there on the water actually fishing, but uh, it's gonna be worth the wait. Patience is a virtue and I'm an angler. I can be extremely patient. That's what my dad used to always tell me growing up when we were fishing. Like, now why aren't they biting? Start getting frustrated, getting bored. He'd be like, you gotta be patient. That's the number one rule of fishing. And boy, was he right. So in here, not only do I have a bunch of new heat, but I also have this package right here of uh, some more heat. So let me just go ahead and move the camera. I'm gonna take a seat down at the table here. It is scorching hot already here in Texas today. And uh, I'm gonna move the camera, have a sit down here at the tackle table, and we're gonna take a look at all this stuff. Stand by. Real quick though, before we jump off into that box, I do wanna say thank you guys for helping us hit 47,000 subscribers here on the channel. We're gripping and ripping, 50K on the way. We are almost halfway toward hitting our ultimate 100,000 subscriber goal. Trying to get that YouTube silver play button. If you guys wanna be a part of that, be a part of the Heater family, click that subscribe button. Help us fill in the bar. Help us get that silver play button so we can hang it up back there on the tackle wall. Well, let's go ahead and jump off into this box really quick. So first up, I got some new colors of the glitch in. Let me grab all these bad boys. I'll show you really quick what I went with. All right, now you guys know me. When it comes to finesse fishing, drop shotting, it's not really my thing. I rarely even pick up a spinning setup, to be honest with you. The glitch, the new drop shot bait from Sixth Sense, the one that they recently came out with, Glitch 3.8, it actually changed that for me and started making me a believer in, in realizing the benefits of, of throwing those little tiny finesse baits. Because a, a lot of days, uh, especially in, in the hot summer months when I couldn't get bit on anything else. This little thing right here has come through for me. It started helping me learn how to fish a drop shot and use the spinning gear a little bit more. And I actually went through a ton of glitches. So I did a little reload, stocked up on a bunch of different colors. This is the Rose Dust. I'll show you these baits up close and personal, let you guys get a, a really good look at the color. That's how I like to do it around here, up close and personal, in your face, so you can really get a look at the detail on these baits. Now we've talked about the glitch here on the channel before. So the shape we've been over, you know, and uh, I've fished this bait here on the channel before. I have videos on if you guys wanna see some on the water action with this little bad boy. But you know, the glitch has helped me build my drop shot confidence. So I loaded up on practically every color that I could find available. They sell out fast, but you guys can go check them out on the website. This color right here is the 4K Bluegill, a little motor oil with uh, black, gold, blue, flake like i said i'm gonna try to roll through these quick guys i don't want to take up too much of your time this is the goby this is one of my favorite colors honestly check that out you got that dark motor oil sort of a, a dark brown and then you got that smoke belly and there's a super fine purple flake in there that may be hard to pick up on camera but that right there is a heater a couple more colors here 4k shad i look at that and i just see like okay that's confidence, they'll eat that here. I fish a Highland Reservoir, super clear water, and that uh, that 4K shad, just a nice, natural, non-intimidating shad style color. Sort of looks like a ghost minnow. Got a couple more here. I think these are the most fun colors out of the bunch. This is the watermelon shad. That is just beautiful. Subtle, light, light, you know, motor oil look again on the top and then just a ghost belly. Super fine black flake in that one. I mean, tiny flake. Now this one right here, the 4K sunfish. Every one of these baits honestly just looks killer, but that 4K sunfish right there, stupid heat. Yeah, just uh, slight variations on a bunch of natural looking, you know, colors that are all gonna do good in clear water for me. So, loaded up on the glitch, should be good to go with all these. You know how it is though, once you start catching them on one color, it's like your brain does not want you to switch colors. So, whichever one I, start catching them on first. I bet you that's the, the bag that I go through first. That's just the way it goes as anglers. We get tuned into that color. A lot of times the fish don't care. Sometimes they really care. You guys know the deal, man. You never know what those fish are gonna want. But next up, I got another new bait from Sixth Sense. If you guys are familiar with the Quail 4.5 paddle tail swim bait from Sixth Sense. This is a bait that I haven't fished in a while, but it is a bait that I've caught some freaking tanks on. It's a good like entry level soft paddle tail swim bait. If you don't want to invest in, in like big swim bait gear, this bait right here uh, can get you into throwing just a slightly larger profile, you know, four and a half, 
five inch bait without having to go uh, crazy, go all out and get like big rig stuff and a, a super heavy swim bait rod. Um, I had a lot of fun throwing this whale around when it came out. And like I said, I caught some tanks on this bad boy and they recently came out with, boom, two smaller versions of the whale that just dropped. This is the 3.5. And they have the super baby, the 3.0. Check these things out, man. These are gonna be another extremely versatile bait from Six Sense. You guys may have saw they just dropped the juggle, which they're practically already sold out of. Uh, I don't have any of those here, but we've done a, a video on the juggle. This right here is, is gonna be another bait that I feel is gonna be extremely versatile. There's gonna be a lot of different ways that you can fish these things uh, on the back of a spinner bait, on the back of a swim jig, on an underspin. Actually, that is how I fished the whale 4.5 was on like a, a owner flashy swimmer. These little baby whales are gonna be another option for you. They're on the back of your chatter bait. Same profile as the big whale, just smaller. You got the 3.5. We got the 3.0. I got uh, various colors of each. This is the Ghost Ice Minnow. Love this color right here. This is the Pro Blue. I also got the Pro Shad in the 3.5. Got some of the 3.5s in the Ghost Ice Minnow. Got some of the Super Babies, the 3.0s in that Pro Shad color. Really natural shad, just a ghost shad look. It's got lavender and gold flake in it. Beautiful color. Probably my favorite one. Got some of the 3.0s in that Pro Blue. And then for when you need something a little more bold, I got that Platinum White. Those are the 3.0s as well. Got some of the 3.5s in Platinum White. And I also got some more Pro Shad 3.0s. So like I said, that Pro Shad, probably my favorite color. I'm gonna bust one of these out. I'm gonna grab one of the 3.5s so that I can show you a little bit better this color. This is the one that I really like right here. The new Baby Whale Soft Plastic Paddle Tail Swim Bait from Six Cents. Just another option. You know, something aside from the Devon Swim Bait, something outside of the juggle. I love the, the body shape on this. You got that whale look to it. Those side fins, nice sculpt, big bulbous eyes there at the front. Solid body, really thick. And then you got that paddle tail on there. And then the, the color on this one, man, with that gold and lavender flake in there, that's my favorite one. That's why I got the most of that one right there. That Pro Blue, probably my second favorite. Let's go ahead, rig one of these jokers up. Let's throw a, this Pro Blue on the back of this Devon swim jig. This is the 3.5. And I think this is gonna be the way to go for your swim jig, spinner baits chatter baits if they're a normal profile but when you get like finesse i'll show you what we can do on like a finesse chatter bait here in a second let's get this baby screwed down see what she looks like all right so there's a look at that profile of that whale on that swim jig as you can see it gives a little bit more bulk to the body i like that belly on there that looks good to me man that looks good i would absolutely fish that just like that the new baby whales from six cents but wait, there's more. Let's bust out one of these 3.0s. And I'll tell you what I have in mind for these bad boys. If I can get it open. The little mini. Dude, the little mini. What could that be good for? Check this out. You guys are probably familiar with the Z-Man Chatterbait. The Mini Max, though. A little finesse style Chatterbait. I'm busting into this bait just so we can rig up this baby whale. See what's what on the back of this Mini Max. I think these are going to be an awesome chatterbait trailer. Dude. Yes, sir. Check that out, dude. A little Mini Max baby whale banger on the back, dude. And that looks good to me. What do you guys think? The new baby whales from Six Cents, man. Check them out. Hopefully they're not all sold out by the time I get this video posted. Let's keep rocking and rolling, man. I got another package here. This one right here, something a little special, something we have to look forward to and something that actually just dropped. It's not quite time to start utilizing this sucker, but it's gonna be soon. So let's see what all we got in here. What's this? Divine jig heads, specifically Divine Umbrella Rig jig heads, one eighth ounce, three aught hook, specifically designed for the A rig. Now, what could we possibly need these for? Well, let me show you. Super stoked on this. There's one thing in this package that I actually can't show you, but the new Divine Umbrella Rig just dropped on SixthSenseFishing.com, and 
I'm really excited to finally get one of these, get it out of the package and take a look at it. This is my first look right here. You guys are seeing it and it looks good. Designed to perfection, powered by the Six Sense Lure Lab, 6.5 inch wire, divine umbrella rig. Spanish pearl is the color. How do I get it open? Let me have it. All right, here she is, boys. The new A-Rig from the Six. Stoked on this. Check out the sculpt on the head. It's got a built-in swivel there at the front. So that's good, I like that. Let's go ahead and start getting her bent out. First thing I notice is that the, the wire on this is extremely strong feeling. It feels durable which is important. Sometimes you get an A-Rig and it's all flimsy and it you know, bends out really easy. It feels like you're about to break it. This does not feel that way. This, this feels sturdy, so I really like that. I'm not the best at shaping an A-Rig, so we'll have to get that dialed in. But anyways, you guys get the idea. Got four blades. Looks like some nice, strong quality snaps. That's important. You don't want a giant bending out your hardware on your A-Rig. Like I said, it's got the swivel up front beautiful mold the sculpt on that on that head is nice there's the new six sense divine a rig pair this bad boy up with the divine umbrella rig jig heads i'm actually not going to build this thing out right now because as you guys may know storing your alabama rigs once they uh, are all outfitted with hooks and baits can be a little bit cumbersome but I'm definitely going to uh, utilize this come winter time. You guys have seen uh, in the past, and, and these baits were made popular by some other anglers that just catch some absolute giants on rigs like this, and I can't wait to get back out there in the winter time, start throwing an A-Rig. So this is the 6.5. They also are coming out with a 5.5. It doesn't look like that has dropped yet, but there's a look, a little first look at the new Divine Umbrella Rig from Sixth Sense along with the Divine Umbrella Rig jig heads. Stoked on that. I really wish I could show you what else is in this bag right now, but I can't. I'm gonna take a look at it really quick. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna freaking love that. This right here, this thing that I can't show you is big. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. That's, that's gonna, wow, I cannot wait to start throwing that around. We went from the whale 4.5 into the smaller direction. What I just saw, we're gonna go the complete opposite direction and Trust me, that right there is a, uh, yeah, that's gonna be big. I can't wait to show that to you. All right, but let's keep it moving here. Now, when it comes to what's in this box right here, I don't even know if I'm supposed to show you, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Cause like I said, man, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission, right? I haven't been told not to show you. So here it is, man. This is something that I'm extremely excited about. Something that's been in the works for a while. Something that a lot of you guys uh, uh, chimed in and said we should try to make happen when I first brought it up. Uh, here on the channel if you guys uh, remember i had a trace that was custom painted by casey for me a one of one casey's customs and i asked you guys if you thought that that color should be made into a production color something that everybody could get and i'm so stoked to tell you guys that that is happening has happened i don't know how far along in the process we are but i have three of the new check it out heater shad trace swim baits right here my original is out in the boat i can go grab that for you guys and show you but here is the production version the one that you guys will all be able to get the heater shad i have absolutely annihilated them on this color uh, it's my favorite color in the trace i only have one of them so i'm so excited that we'll be able to get more as you can see it's got a bone belly with a ghost shad top and back and man, this color is just, it's just my favorite, man. It's a killer, it's a super heater. The heater shad coming soon. Now I'm not sure when this bad boy is gonna drop, but when it does, I'll make sure and make the announcement on my Instagram and here on YouTube. You guys follow me on Instagram, at the Justin Royal if you're not already. See a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Get a look at uh, you know my day to day life and see more of what goes on around the house here you guys can see the deer almost daily uh, see what i'm doing outside of fishing and youtube over on my instagram but the new heater shad like i said i don't even know if i'm supposed to be showing this to you guys but this is this is awesome you guys help make this happen so thank you for for wanting this color to be a reality thank you to casey and six cents for making this color a reality naming a, a, another color after the heater family you know we got the we got the heater series fishing rods we've got the the heater swim jig casey's even done a couple um 
you know, J Royal Specials and the Casey's Customs. If you guys are familiar with the, the custom baits that Casey paints and posts up for auction. And now we have production bait in the heater shad, the trace, my favorite color. Like I said, my original is out in the boat. Let me, let, you know what, let me just go grab it. I'm gonna show you my original. I've caught so many fish on it. I'm gonna go pull it out of the boat. I'll be right back and we'll compare the OG, the one that he painted for me. There's the cicadas. Welcome to Texas. We'll compare the original OG heater shad custom paint to these production models here. Stand by. All right, here's my trace case. And honestly, this is just another opportunity for me to showcase how cool these bait chambers are. Check this out. Oh, got that bone, 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 bone up top. But what's that right there? Look at it all beat up, battle worn. This right here is the original one of one, custom painted by Casey Sobsack, the OG heater shed right here. Now he painted this for me, asked me if I liked it. I loved it. Started fishing with it immediately. Caught some freaking tanks. I'll try to throw some clips in. Show you guys a couple examples of some big fish that I've caught on this particular bait. And now we are lucky enough to be able to, heaven forbid if something ever happens to that one, get a replacement. So I got the fast sink, the slow sink, and the floating versions all right here. Let's go ahead and compare the OG to the production. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. There's not a lot of difference. You know, this one just looks new. They do a really good job of recreating Casey's concepts and his designs. They really go above and beyond to, to get it as close as humanly possible. And man, I'm telling you, they freaking nailed it with the heater shad. I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna quit going on and on about it. I know there are a lot of you guys out there that are gonna be excited to be able to get your hands on this color because a lot of you told me when I asked you the first time, do you think we should try to get this made into a production color? I had a resounding yes from so many of you guys. So many of you guys said yes and said that you would want this color. And I'm extremely excited to be able to finally tell you that that has happened, is happening. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I'm gonna put my OG back here in my trace bait case. Keep it protected like the rest of these awesome trace swim baits that I have at the ready at all times on my boat. This is my favorite multi-jointed swim bait to throw, guys. I've caught so many fish on these two baits right here. This is one that I painted here in the garage, and this is one that Casey painted for me, and man, stone cold killers. I have some of the most fun ever fishing throwing this bait right here. It'll catch them all big and small. Don't be afraid to pick up a bigger bait, even right now, because I love throwing a big bait in the summertime. But wait, there's more. We got one more thing to take a look at here. This is another bait chamber, but this is the jig bait chamber. And like I said, you know, I passed on this one at first and then learned my lesson once I saw other people posting with it because, because this is how I store my jigs for the longest time right here. This is the, what is this? This is, this is the Plano Edge jig box. It's a nice box. Quality, you know, got the water wick, got all the fancy dividers, Plano, you know, that's a, that's a well-known, reputable company. It makes really good gear. I'm not knocking them. I like the box. It's expensive, and for something so expensive, I feel like it shouldn't do this to your baits. If you can see, not saying it really matters, but to me, it matters. Practically every one of my weed guards on any bait that has a weed guard, they're all pushed over, bent over, curved down like that from the lid closing pressing on the weed guards. Now, could I trim them all? Yes. Some of these are brand new, never even been in the water, so I don't want to go through and cut them all up if I didn't have to right out of the package, but that's my major complaint. And this is a, a non six cents. This actually right here is a, a dirty jigs, dirty, dirty jigs tackle swim jig. So you can see it does it to practically every swim jig, no matter what. If it's got a weed guard on there, it's going to bend the thing over like that. And it's permanent. They stay that way for the most. I mean, you could, you could force it back, but that's just the major drawback of this jig case. Like I said, it, it's nice. I've been storing my jigs in it for a long time. But what Sixth Sense has done with this bait chamber, now I will admit it's a bit more bulky, gonna take up a bit more room in the, bo in the boat. But what they've done here is they've eliminated that and they've made it to where your jigs can fit down in here all the way and not damage, not damage your weed guards. This is gonna fold up into that cavity above it 
and it's not gonna mash everything down. That's that's like that's the biggest thing for me. Aside from the fact that it looks cool, you can outfit the thing with all your jigs. I just love the fact that it's not gonna be. Let me see. Yeah, it goes right into the. So this weed guard, even if it is sticking up a little bit, is gonna go right into this this crevasse there. And it's gonna keep things from getting all mashed down so much. I got a bunch of jigs here. I got a bunch of jigs in this box. They're all practically brand new. So I'll be able to move my jigs from here over into the jig chamber with or without trailers. I might add, there's enough room in there to accommodate. That's a full stroker craw on the back of this one. I didn't even trim it down. And there's plenty of room in there for the jig and the trailer to fit. So I'll be able to move all my jigs over and stop bending my weed guards. And that is something that I am looking forward to not doing anymore. It's one of the reasons why I started storing jigs back in here without the trailers is because this excellent concept holds them in place really well, but practically, you know, makes all your weed guards mushed over. And I'm not saying that that really affects too much but I don't like it. So that's just one advantage of the bait chamber jig box that I see right off the bat. But hey, take a look at that. That's that hobgoblin right there. I Man, I've caught so many fish on this little pairing right here. Lavender goblin, the little Kitech ghost rainbow trailer. Psh, straight smoke show, dude. But I think that's about all of the tackle that I can show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing like i said i wish we were back out there on the water we will be back out there on the water i got a bunch of stuff here man we got parts and wiring and switches and material galore and uh yeah one of the biggest boat upgrades one of the biggest bass boat upgrades that you can do uh in, in the 21st century coming your way really soon here on the channel subscribe if you want to see us outfit jumbo with all the stuff that i have over here in these packages but i hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing video it's good to be back with you thanks for sticking with me thanks for riding with me thank you for being patient during my absence as i traveled home to be with my family you guys are the absolute best and i can never thank you all enough for your support if you want to check out any of this awesome six cents stuff that i showed you in this video if you want to check out the baby whales the bait chambers the glitch any of this cool stuff, man, check out SixthSenseFishing.com. And as always, you can use code JR10 at checkout. That's going to knock 10% off your entire order. Everything on the website, 10% off with JR10 for the win. And as always, anyone who uses that code, you'll get a shout out on my personal Instagram account. Just take a little screenshot of your order confirmation, DM it to me, and I will post it up tag your account it's just a way for me to say thank you because without the jr10 army without the support from six cents fishing there is no channel there is no videos they absolutely make it possible for us to create this content for you guys the jr10 army six cents fishing major parts of that major supporters and we can never thank them enough speaking of armies the heater army you guys are also incredible we just surpassed 50 heater army members here on the channel that's incredible to me. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you want to learn more about the Heater Army, get access to special perks, badges, emojis, access to raw and uncut fishing footage that's uh, unlisted and only available to Heater Army members. You can check out the link down below in the video description. Join the Heater Army and become a part of that. Check out the Heater Zone, score yourself a hat, and I'm going to donate all the profits from the month of August to Parkinson's research in honor of my dear Aunt Vicky, who we recently lost, sadly. But thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate you all more than you will ever know. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. But I will see you on the next one.